Good evening. My name is Andrew Adams from Parker Adams Boat Sales. It is a beautiful evening down here on the Hamble River and behind me I have an equally beautiful boat. It's a Sargo 28. Now some of you may wonder what we're doing selling Sargos. I have some really really exciting news to share with everyone and that is that Parker Adams Boat Sales has been appointed the only UK approved used boat broker for Sargo Boats. So we're going to be working really closely with Tina and Richard from Sargo Boats UK and we're going to be helping Helping them sell all of the used stock that they get through for Sargo boats. So if somebody brings in a Sargo 28 for example and trades up to a 36 or even puts an order in for the new 45 then it's Park Adams Boat Sales that will be helping you with that sale of that used boat. So it's a really really exciting uh, news with Parker Adams and I've been a long time admirer of the Sargo brand. They make fantastic boats and in fact the current Axapar that we have came as a result of somebody trading up to a Sargo. So they're a brilliant trade up from the Axapar for people wanting a bit more space, a bit more of a rugged boat, fantastic handling. And what I'm going to do this evening is actually show you over this 28. This 28 is the first of the boats that we're going to be helping Sargo UK sell. And it's really exciting to bring you all of the boat, show you everything on board the boat. And I've decided to do this in the evening. So actually it's quite nice. Not many walkthrough tours show you the boats with the lights on, show what it's like and how cosy the boats can feel in the evening. And that's what you're going to get from me today. It's a 2018 boat. So it's really Really, really new. It's powered by a single Volvo Penta D6 engine which produces 370 horsepower so the performance on this boat is fantastic but at the same time it gives just brilliant handling through the rough weather as well and that's something that really sets the Sargo brand apart from its rivals, its competition, is the way that it cuts through the water. Now I'm lucky enough to have been on lots of Sargos over the years because I've done quite a bit of the marketing work doing the drone work and some of the internal photography for Sargo Boats UK and I've been out in some really 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 nasty seas in Sargos and the way they push through the water really is fantastic. The boats are really clever, they've got loads of features, loads of benefits which I'm excited to show you today and we're doing it in the evening. It's quite nice to bring you some of the um, walkthrough tour of the boat when all the lights are on. So it's nice to see the boat when it's nice and cosy and how the lighting all works and how lots of the features on board this boat are. So I'm rambling a bit, so I'm going to crack on with the walkthrough tour. So please come and join me as we look over this beautiful Sargo 28. So let's start off with looking at the looks of the boat. The Sargo 28, and in fact the entire Sargo range has got this really fantastic, aggressive look about it. You can see this 36 just nestling behind Roma. They really do share the same DNA, and the Sargo boats are very much unmistakable when you see them on the Solent. If you look at the bow profile, you've got this lovely deep V and you can see how that boat would really cut through the waves and behave beautifully in a big heavy sea. They really are very, very stylish boats, but incredibly practical too, with lots and lots of features um, that make these boats very, very usable. So let's start off at the bow. You can see really nice stainless steel push pits all the way around and then you've got this large anchor which is of course powered with an electric anchor winch and then you've got a synthetic teak platform on the top there and on the hatch and then a seat here with the, um, the stainless steel grab rails behind it so you can sit nice, nicely in there. Something you'll also notice is really good generous side um, walkways all the way around, around the boat. You can see that you can walk around this boat with ease holding on to both these guardrails but also it's not tiptoeing around trying to, to force your way between the cabin and the side decks. There really is a good amount of space here. We keep walking down the boat and um, something just to point out down on the bottom there you'll notice this boat is fitted with an optional extra which is this extended rub rail that goes all the way around which gives you just that little bit more peace of mind when manoeuvring. If we work our way backwards you can see this really good entertaining space at the back. Um, you've got um, seat backs um, go up onto the guard rails and then two cushion covers there which is not really nice diamante upholstery and lots and lots of space. Just under this engine hatch here you have the Volvo Penta D6 370. Lovely powerful engine, very very quiet and um, under load as well though, but it will propel this boat really really nicely to speeds in excess of 30 knots. Um, the bathing platform is a large bathing platform. This particular boat is fitted with snap davits, so this Aquafax tender, uh, which is available um, by separate negotiation with the boat. And you can see that literally just pushes straight into the water. And then underneath there you have a hatch, 
Now, a Sargo design, which is really, really sensible, is that hatch lifts up, which allows access to the stern drives. So if you're going at sea and you pick up a rope or anything like that, then you can just lift this hatch up and just below there, you have access to the stern drive. So that's a really nice feature on Sargos. I don't know why more boats don't have that, because it does make it incredibly easy um, if you were to get into trouble with the stern drive at sea. Um, the boat is fitted with optional deck lighting LEDs. So you can see the deck lights just starting to shine up there um, as, the, as the sun is setting here on a, a lovely evening on the Hamble. But access on board the boat is there's the, the guard rails just step down and you've got this recessed area. It's easy to step on board. And then as we make our way backwards, big generous area here and I love this seat. This seat provides a brilliant space. If you're going along you get so much protection from this here. So if you're going along and you just sit here you don't get any wind, you don't get any buffeting and you can just sit here and enjoy the view as you do some perhaps extended cruising uh, with your family or nip around the Solent. Underneath this seat it's also practical so if I lift this up here you'll see under there is a really good amount of storage. There's ropes in there, there's power cables, um, there's oars for the tender and there's a grab line as well. I'll just close that down. And just lots and lots of space. You've got a manual build just in here and then if I just twist these catches, that catch there and that catch and then I step to one side very very easily I can lift up and you can see the access to the Volvo Penta D6 370 is absolutely brilliant. Loads and loads of space all around to work with, you've got easy access to the batteries, you've got three batteries on board this boat, so it's very generously fitted out and it also comes with the optional 600 litre fuel tank so long distance cruising is brilliant on this boat. Just to give you an idea how large that is, on the Axopar 28 that we've got, um, that's got a 300 litre fuel tank. So this is powered um, by a diesel engine, so it'll be more economical um, than the Axopar, but it's got a 600 litre fuel tank. So I'll just close this back up again. Put those catches in place and close that down. So it's a lovely big space. As we walk forward, I talked about the, the large side decks, excellent access all around the boat good grab handles as you go around so if you were out putting fenders out as you're coming into the harbour it's good access then on the front here you've got the synthetic teak top lift that up inside there there's a power cable and also anchor chain and rope and of course showing here the electric anchor as well I love this view this view on the Sargos is probably my favorite view how purposeful and mean does that look it's absolutely superb and then this really nice hatch here going into the fore cabin so the sun's starting to fade, which is perfect because I want to show how cosy this boat is. So as we step inside, what I'll just show you around here is just a really good size cabin space and also a very clever cabin space. So let's start off at the top here. For seating, you've got seating around here for probably four people and this seat also spins around so it can enclose this area. And the table is a very, very clever design table. You've got a leaf design there. You can open it out, which makes it larger. But what you can also do is you can spin the table around. So you've got loads of positions that you can put the table into to make this area absolutely as versatile as you like. You can spin it around, push it back, back into position, close it up. So really anything you want to do in this area, whether it's working from the boat for the day, eating, having some drinks with friends, anything you want to do, you can. And of course, it does hide a little secret under here, which I'll show you a bit later on. But let's start off at the helm position. The helm position on the Sargos is, as you'd imagine, absolutely brilliant. Um, these boats designed for big heavy weather um, out in Scandinavia and sitting here at the helm position, you've got such a good view all the way around. In fact, I'll just put, pull this down just to show how good that view is. Lovely all round view from the wheelhouse. And the helm position is absolutely excellent. Um, very, very light, easy steering. And I love this little design here. If you're coming into more up, you can just move that round. And again, it just makes mooring up very, very easy on the stern drive. This boat is fitted with the Mente Marine Auto trim tabs. And this lovely big Garmin plotter. And then you've also got this additional Garmin control here. As everyone knows, when it's rough weather and you're bouncing around somewhere, you don't need to be using a touchscreen. So you've got that really nice Garmin additional control there. Boat's fitted with a bow thruster. 
and then all of these lovely arrays of switches and then one of the latest generation Volvo Penta controls. VHF is up here, your revs are just up there together with your engine dials, a Fusion Bluetooth radio system and then all your battery switches are just up here as well. The other nice thing about this uh, design of the helm unit is if you pull this, this knob out here and then rotate this down what you can see, if I do this one handed, pop that back in, you can see I've now changed the whole helm position and that whole helm unit is now pointing towards the driver. Or we can just pull that lever out again and just drop that back down again. So it creates a very, very versatile helm position. I think there are three settings for that. In terms of the seat, you've got a really nicely upholstered seat and you've also got a bolster on there so you can lift that up out of the way, which gives you more space. The storage everywhere on this boat, so you've got um, a drawer, which is I believe where this owner keeps all his cutlery, just in the drawer there. You've got a big drawer down here, which is for, in there you've got um, bowls, glasses and cups. And then just above me, optional extra again on this boat, is the glass sunroof. So you've got these additional panels which allow lots, lots more light into the cabin. Opening this up is very, very easy. We just pull this catch here and then with one hand, I can push that all the way open and now we've opened this is a beautiful way of doing it and then to close it up again one-handed operation pull it straight across and then just clip that into place and that's all closed up again really nice indoor outdoor living so if i lift up this hatch here which allows um, better access in fact before i go down there i forgot about the galley there is a really cleverly concealed galley area just here you've got hot and cold running water and then you've got a wallace diesel hob so you don't have any um, gas on board the boat you've got a wallace diesel hob and that's all controlled from this control unit just here I'll just close that back down again so just a reminder of this hatch here this gives you just a little bit more space um, for headroom as you go down into the, the front cabin you've got really nice teak steps as we go down two steps into here and you've got good headroom so you can see i'm about five foot ten and i've still got headroom down inside here really nicely appointed hanging locker so good hanging space in there plug socket with usb and then you've got a good size double bed in here good size double bed with a hatch above and then just in here you have the heads full shower room there's a curtain which pulls all the way around in there hot and cold running water with a shower that pulls out from the sink and then you've got an electric flush toilet on this boat and then just nestling down there is a heater outlet because of course this boat does have heating and the vents are all in very sensible places so that's the front cabin as we step up just point out features as I see them. I forgot to mention earlier about the, the fridge. There's a nice fridge, very easy access just in here. Life jacket, storage by this owner is used just under here. Um, books, instructions, manuals, charts nestled down there. But if we lift this up here, it comes out that way. Here is another cabin. So this is an aft cabin on the Sargo 28 step down into here and you've got a really really big cabin space in here this is a beautifully appointed large cabin um, good reading light there um, special um, access light there and um, porthole that's the word i'm trying to think of and it's a really really big cabin just in here you can see you've got access to the windscreen wiper um, bottle so that's the washer fluid in there there's carpet set down here there's a fire extinguisher just here and you can see in here you've got more shelving space as well this boat really is beautifully appointed and so much little touches so much storage on this boat it really is brilliant it's very easy to see why people trade up from the axapar 28 to something like this you just get a lot lot more boat a lot much a lot lot more versatility a lot more dining areas and of course two good sized cabins so i was going to carry on just having a, a quick look around the boat again the light's starting to fade hopefully the quality of the camera stay nice but you can see it's very cozy in here it's a very nice place to be in the evening just go out again and again just look back as the light's fading it's looking even nicer in there so i'm going to step off the boat again now step off through that gap and just get a last look around the boat 
stunning. If I turn the camera around. So this has been a walkthrough tour by Park Owns Boat Sales of the Sargo 28. It's a beautiful boat. It's a 2018 boat. As I mentioned earlier, Volvo Penta D6 370 horsepower engine, and it's presented in fantastic condition. It's a lovely boat, and it's a real pleasure to be selling um, Sargo's used boats. So thank you, Tina and Richard from Sargo UK, um, for allowing us the opportunity to sell these beautiful Sargos. Um, and we very much look forward to bringing you more over the next few months. As always, thanks for watching another walk at Parker Adams walkthrough tour. Please remember to like and subscribe to our channel and look forward to speaking to you again very soon. Thanks as always for watching.